These are few examples of what you can create with this system. Interactions are based on physics simulation. It means I can bump into this door to open it. Or grab it using left click and move the mouse to open or close the door. I can also grab and push the door with a sudden impulse using right click, like kicking it. Of course input keys are customizable. You can set different movement limit for each door. This one has a limit of 120 degrees. Also it plays sound when closed. The loudness of sound depends on how hard it gets shot. All of these sounds are for demonstrating the features, so they are relatively low quality. Also the sound system is easily accessible for modifications. You can also make linearly moving doors, and it is set to play a sound while moving. You can disable gravity for certain doors, that is why this one doesn't fall when released. Since everything is based on physics, if I open these drawers, they will block this door. To open this lid, I need to unlock the latch first. You can also set the camera to follow the grabbed component with one checkbox. This door's handle is set to manual, which means I have to grab the handle itself to unlock it. This is not useful normally, however it can be used to add extra immersion to VR games. This door's handle is set to unlock automatically, so I can grab the door and handle unlocks by itself. You can add as many locks and handles to a door as you want. This door's handle is set to unlock automatically, but it doesn't get unlocked when door is grabbed because I need a key. You can easily expand the system to do custom stuff when a key is required. As an example, a message is printed saying you need a key on top left of screen. Next, I'll quickly show how to create a simple door with a handle and how to set up your character. Drop door static mesh into map. This is optional. Then drag and drop the openable actor on it. Openable will automatically get attached to the frame static mesh and will not have collision with it. Select the door static mesh. Pivot point of this door and frame are at the same location, which allows us to simply set relative location of the door to zero to place it at correct location. These arrows show the direction of rotation. To change the direction, select the 3D widget and rotate it using mouse, or directly from properties. You can also reverse the direction by setting the limit to a negative value and select the audio files. To add the handle, drop Lockset Actor on the door. This will attach it to the door and make sure the door is controlled by it and disable collision between them. Select the handle static mesh. Pivot point of handle is not placed at same location as its parent door, so you will have to move the handle manually. Or to make things easier, you can add the correct location to the name of static mesh to not have to memorize it. For example, this handle's correct relative location is 0, negative 90 and 100. Set auto unlock to true, to unlock it when door is grabbed and set lock tolerance to 30 to make the handle unlock after rotating 30 degrees. And finally, select audio files for each state. Let's try it out. To set up your character, add interactor, and interaction model physics doors and locks components. 
you can set their properties in details panel. Drag and drop interactor into event graph and add interaction event macro. Then add your key events or input mappings. This is for grabbing. This one is for checking. And these are for moving the door. And that's it. Please check out documentation for more. With template creator utility, you can easily save a combination of static part, openables, and lock sets as a prefab. Then drop the created template into map and click spawn from template. Check out the documentation to see how to create a template. With extension event component, you can access events of openables and lock sets from external actors, or you can create reusable actor component to extend the system itself. For example, you can create a bomb that goes off when a door opens. It is a very basic bomb without any visual effects. Let's place it behind this door, so we can go flying when it goes off. Select the door as extension parent and test it. The key requirement message was created using this component as well. I'll use a pre-made one to show how to add it. Add key requirement and the extension event component for printing message to this handle. Now when I grab the door, a message is printed on top left of screen. You can check the documentation for step-by-step -step guide on how to use extension event component. Thanks for watching.